This is a drumstick. The tip, the shoulder, the shaft, the bottom. This is how you hold your drumstick. Put your good hand out, put the stick in your palm, point the thumb straight up the shaft, wrap your pointer finger around the stick, having it be the same height as your thumb. Let the stick fall into that little crease right there. Naturally close the back three fingers. That's how you hold the stick. You also want to make sure that there's just a little space in between your thumb and your pointer finger. You don't want to close it up tight and you don't want there to be too much space. Do the same thing with the other hand and now you're playing matched grip. So now let's talk about where to hold the drumstick. So if I held the drumstick way down here, it wouldn't really bounce. So I'm going to pull up a little. There we go. I'll pull up a little more. Okay, how about a little more? You want to hold the stick where it bounces the most. If I keep pulling up past this point, it doesn't bounce as well. So, always hold the stick where it bounces the most. Within matched grip, there's three different types of grip or way you can position your hands. French grip, German grip, and American grip. I prefer American grip. When I stand up straight, have my arms at my sides, and just put my forearms up, I'm not, not naturally going to do that. I'm going to kind of have my hands a little at an angle. So that's how I would position it when I play, and I think that's American grip. You want to make sure also that you have your tips right in the center of the drumstick, and the height of your snare drum, whether you're standing or sitting, you want to have it at about waist high. 